Morning Briefs. The Herald and News. Sunrise Headlines. Your headlines now. Good morning, Klamath Basin. It's Wednesday, June 6th, 2018. I'm Kurt Lidke with The Herald and News. Here's a preview of some of the stories that you can find in today's edition of The Herald and News. Time for your Sunrise Headlines. A groundbreaking ceremony was held Tuesday at Oregon Tech for the start of major renovations to its softball facility, named in honor of John and Lois Stilwell, who donated a significant portion of the funding for the $1.3 million project. The project includes new turf, walkways, wraparound bleachers, a team room, concessions, and new bathrooms. A fleet of L-159E honey badgers took to the skies over Klamath Falls Tuesday as Kingsley Field began a new training method it hopes will increase its output of fighter pilots. The jets were piloted by contractors with Draken International, a Las Vegas firm providing adversary aircraft, pilots who act as enemy fighters during training exercises. Contracting for adversary aircraft frees up instructors who would otherwise act as simulated enemies, as well as the F-15s used by those instructors. This will result in more flight opportunities for students and a higher output of trained pilots. The Lake County District Attorney's Office has objected to Judge Robert Nichols hearing cases in which defendants are represented by attorney Ronald Howen, forcing Howen's cases to be heard by out-of-county judges. Starting last month, District Attorney Sharon Forster began filing affidavits of prejudice in all of Howen's new cases and several old cases, claiming Nichols is unable to be impartial to either the state or Howen's clients. The affidavits requested a judge other than Nichols be appointed, which creates a dilemma since Nichols is the only judge in the county. The faculty of Oregon Institute of Technology filed a petition on Tuesday with the Oregon Employment Relations Board to form a union. The new union, representing the approximately 180 full-time faculty members, will be an affiliated chapter of the American Association of University Professors. It aims to strengthen shared governance and to establish an enforceable contract regarding working conditions, pay, and benefits. As of this week, faculty at all public universities in Oregon have organized into unions in an effort to raise the quality of higher education in Oregon. And those are just a few of the stories you can find detailed in today's Herald and News. Be sure to follow us online via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube, SoundCloud, and of course, heraldandnews.com. You can subscribe to our daily and weekly podcasts on iTunes and Google Play Music to automatically receive each show on your listening device and check back off and fill the latest podcasts, videos, and breaking news. Good morning, Klamath Basin, and enjoy your day.